Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a Panzerkampfwagen 4 Ausrung D. Yes, it's the Panzer 4D. It's, um, well, it's not the original Panzer. It's actually the one that was de designed after the one that fought in France with the short barrel gun. This is the D version with the 7.5 centimeter gun, the long barrel gun, which can do a lot more damage. It's got a lot more penetration. Now it's on the uh, Westbourne of Airfield under the command of Sly Meerkat. Now as I said, it's got the 7.5cm gun capable of 110 alpha penetrating 103mm of armour and with the APCR that will go up to 139mm and he'll do 175 with the HE rounds but only penetrate 38mm. But a tier 4, and this is a tier 4 tank and a tier with tier 3 tank gain, yeah, those HE rounds could be very useful indeed. Well, this tank does have fairly good gun depression, unlike the A version, um, it actually does have fairly good, so it can actually hold its own 10 degrees of gun depression. And he's gone around into the pocket so he can take pot shots at the enemy. And there's a Panzer IV Alcelon A. Now, that's the original version that you saw fight in France. Aims at the M7 Priest, but gets hit by an M2 Medium, and he's suddenly spotted as a T29 over there, but he's taking quite a lot of fire from these guys over here on the Temple Mount. So he had to pull back for a moment, otherwise, uh, yeah, he would uh, suffer too much damage. Yeah, the M2 Medium. Hmm. Okay, going for the M7 Priest again. Dials in. No, he just tracks it. He's looking in this way, but the kill goes to the T6 medium, so he's now going for the T29 that he saw behind the M7 Priest. Okay, P2640, seen near the cap. He hasn't been fired on by that M2 medium anymore, and I think actually the reason why is because the M2 medium's gone over the other side of Temple Mount. He's fighting in the south area. So Slice decided he's going to use the rest of the pocket to try and get shots on the M2 medium and some of the other enemy tanks if they come around the south side and a Valentine 2 tank is just on the south side at the moment trying to get round but he's being held up by that Valentine 2 on our team. Withdraw from that position. I think he's trying to tell the Valentine 2 pull back so I can get shots on the Valentine 2 on the enemy team. It's still the Soviet um, Tier 3 light there. tank. Not very good. Although fairly tough armour. Okay, he's also watching to see what the M2 medium does. Tries a shot, but it goes way past the guy. Here comes the M2 medium. Uh, the M2, the enemy tank. Oh, and he took a round from a T28. And pull back behind the uh, trees. Uh, this is a bit of a problem now because they managed to capture that south area. Okay, he's got shots back on the cap. He did see some enemy tanks around there. Now, is he going to turn left or right? No, he's decided to go left. Yeah, he was just covering his rear just in case somebody tried to shoot at him. So he's going to try and defend against the SU 76, the BT 7 Art. And, of course, that Valentine too. And in order to do that, he needs to get to a good firing position so he can shoot down on those guys. And he also needs to protect himself against the T-29 and the M2 medium. Now, originally, the Panzer Mark IV was actually designed as an anti... Not anti-personnel, but more an anti-vehicle type tank, not an anti-tank tank. It just got sort of like fell into that role by uh, default. Enemy um, tanks were supposed to be dealt with by the Panzer Mark III. Because, of course, it was smaller, faster, had a, a more powerful gun, a better gun, five centimeter gun. But in fact, actually, once fitted with a 7.5 centimeter gun, it can actually be quite useful. That T28 should be firing in this direction, but he can't see Sly because he's using the bush mechanic and in fact actually it's worked because he's killed that guy but the Valentine 2 is now in the south area he's managed to get slipped past Sly and now he's trying to get this SU-76 he will be seen if he shoots 
gets the shot, kills the guy, but was he seen? Six heads didn't go off, but the T29 is firing in this direction, so I presume that Sly hasn't got six cents on this vehicle yet, and that's why he was fired on, because, uh, well, the enemy saw him. And the M2 medium is also firing in this direction, but pulled back when he realised that he could actually get killed. Enemy P2640, that's the Italian medium. The tier 4 up on top of Temple Mount, but he's behind the temple. One good shot. 105, which is a low roll. Can he go for the kill? No, didn't get it that shot, but going to try again. That's better. So he's now got three kills, uh, but the Valentine 2 on the enemy team's managed to make it up into the pocket. And now he has a commanding view over this area. Now we still haven't dealt with the Valentine 2 that went behind our forces and he's somewhere in the south. There's the enemy Valentine in the pocket and you see he can't really depress his gun enough to shoot at Sly at the moment. And so he has to pull back but he's being tracked. And oh now he has managed to get his shot in. So if he gets close enough underneath the hill. Oh and Artie finishes him off. And, oh, there's a T-29. That's the Soviet medium tank. It's a premium tank, that one. Lock on. Doesn't lock on. Decides to just do it manually. T-29 sitting in the pocket. Oh, he's gone. In fact, actually, the Sexton 1 got that guy. And he got a patrol duty out of that one as well, funnily enough. Okay, so there's only two enemy tanks left. The Valentine 2 that went to the west. And the other one is an M3 Stuart. We don't know where he is at all because we've never seen him. He could be back at the spawn points. Nobody's seen him, actually. Of course, the... Um, oh, he's found someone. It's the M3, and he is active. Well, when the M3 Stuarts came up against Panzer IVs in North Africa, didn't work out so well for the M3 Stuarts, I'm afraid, because they had to rush towards the Panzer IVs because of their guns, because they couldn't shoot at them at range, because the gun just didn't fire accurately over such a long distance. And that's why they were so pleased to get the M3 Grants in the end, because it meant that they could shoot at the German Panzer Mark IVs without getting taken out. And he's now going to sit in the cap and force the enemy Valentine II to come back to him. In fact, there's two in the cap. Panzer III E, Panzer III Ausrung E, should say. And we're being joined very shortly by an M8A1 as well. So I suspect that he's not going to wait for the Valentine 2 to come back and they'll just cap out and end the game that way. Of course, um, you don't get the bonus for killing all of the enemy tanks, but then on the other side of the coin, you could say that, yes, they will get into a game sooner. And that means, of course, that they'll be able to earn more XP off that one. But it very much looks as if this is going to be a victory. And it is. So, it's all worked out okay. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats and we'll see how much he managed to do. Well, it's an ace tanker for Sly Meerkat in the Panzerkampfwagen Vier Ausrung D. He managed to get a hand of gold for surviving the battle, having received damage from four different enemy tanks, a duelist for taking out two tanks who damaged him during the battle, a fighter badge for getting at least four kills he got for exactly, and a fire from Fett for doing more damage than the hit points to his own vehicle. Got a high caliber, a battle hero medal for getting the most damage in the game, at least 20% of the enemy hit pool in total. And, uh, well, let's have a look at team score and see what else he managed to do. Well, he got the highest damage, 1,818 hit points. The next high scorer being the M2 medium, who put some rounds into him during the game, 1,005 hit points. And those are the only two players who managed to get over 1,000 hit points in damage. The next high scorer being the Valentine 2 on the enemy team that he took out, or rather the RT took out in the end. Uh, the one that he didn't see and didn't get at all, uh, well, 
that guy got 886, so he was a good player. It's just the Valentine 2 was so slow, there was no chance he was going to get back in time to get the reset. When it came to kills, again he got the highest number with 4 kills, 3 kills for the Panzerkampfwagen 3 Ausführung E, the sixth and 1, and for the Panzerkampfwagen 4 Ausführung A on the enemy team got 3 kills. And when it came to base XP, 962 for Sly, 608 goes to the Valentine 2 on his team, and 557 goes to the Sexton 1, who managed those three kills. Very well played by that guy. Obviously got the Sexton 1 in the Christmas boxes recently, and obviously he likes this arty because it's actually quite good. And let's have a look at detail report. He fired 32 rounds in that game, got 20 direct hits and 17 penetrations on one splash. Damage of 1,818 hit points, of which 225 were at more than 300 meters. He received 9 hits from the enemy, 5 of them were penetrations, 3 non-penetrations. I'm afraid the armor on the Panzer Mark IV is not that good. It does let in shots, and of course there's several plot spots on the uh, tank. Well, well, the Germans must have been less than encouraged because the turret has what you call uh, shell traps, where if a shell actually hits a particular spot, it's going to cause the shell to ricochet down into the weak armor and go through the vehicle. I think if you ever spot those on the turret, you'll see what I mean. He also received one hit by way of splash damage. Yes, the M7, I think it was, no, the M, the T29, I think it may have been, or the M2 medium. 87 hit points of damage blocked by the armor, one enemy vehicle spotted, eight enemy vehicles damaged and four killed, and 600 hit points of damage assistance. I think that may have been spotting. 46 capture points towards the end. And on a premium count, he earned 24,217 credits, got 18,163 from personal reserves, total of 54,489. And after repair and ammunition resupply, took away 37,388 credits. He received 962 XP, got times 4 on this occasion, 722 from personal missions payout, and took away 6,494 experience points altogether. So not a bad little ace in the Panzer Mark IV Ausrung D. Um, it's not a great little tank, actually. It's uh, one of the lower tier tanks, and really, I think a lot of players, they tend to get through these as quickly as they can so they can move further up the line. A lot of players like to get the Panzer Mark IV Ausrung H, because, of course, it can get the derp gun, and that means you can do a lot of damage to the enemy. With this one, yes, you get the 7.5 centimeter gun, which has got reasonable penetration. But as I said, the armor is fairly weak, and it means that you can get penetrated by tier 3 tanks, and that can make life fairly difficult. So, uh, yeah, a lot of people tend to get through this one as quickly as they can, so they can move on further up the uh, tier structure. If you enjoyed this replay, Please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.